Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to today's video. So I'm sharing with you guys all of my favorite products from the whole month of May. I have quite a bit of stuff to share with you guys today. A lot of it is drugstore products and I am like full glam today, but my hair is up and I'm like in a t-shirt and bralette. Like it just feels like doesn't go. <laughs> I've been trying out so many products the past month and there's a lot of things that I've really been enjoying. So I hope you guys are ready to see all my favorites. If you guys have not subscribed yet to my channel, I hope you will. It's the first link down below in my description box and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. I know notifications on YouTube have been like so spotty recently so also just make sure you guys are following me on like all my social media platforms they're always linked down below I put them on the screen but I want to make sure you guys like don't miss out on any of my videos today's video is also a really fun giveaway so I'm gonna be talking about that in a few so definitely just keep watching and if you guys want to find out more about all the things that I was loving in the month of May I actually don't think I have anything that I didn't like then just keep on watching. So I am very excited because in this video, I partnered up with Ana Luisa Jewelry. We are also doing a giveaway together. So thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. If you guys have never heard of Ana Luisa, it's like a designer jewelry company and the people who design the jewelry, they worked for like high-end fashion brands like Ralph Lauren. Each piece of jewelry they make is released in limited quantities. So it kind of makes it feel a little bit more special. And also each piece is handcrafted. They also have free shipping and returns they offer a one-year warranty on all jewelry styles that they have with every order you make they include a surprise gift which I think is so nice you get like a little bit something extra they have a lot of like really pretty gold dainty pieces I had actually a hard time picking out the pieces that I wanted because everything was so cute so it was hard to choose I chose this ring right here this is the Penelope ring and I love how simple it is I have not taken it off since I got it I love little pieces like this that are kind of just small you can wear them every day it's so cute it kind of has this like twisted rope design so I love this for like necklaces and rings I've really been into more like dainty pieces and then earrings is where I've kind of been going a little bit more like bold and statement so Ana Luisa also gave me $15 off your first order it's just Kim 15 I'm gonna link their website down below in the description box you guys can check it out you do have to sign up for their website and that will show you like all the pieces they have but it's completely free for the giveaway there's gonna be three winners so this is the little box everything came in. So for the giveaway, there's going to be three winners, which I'm very happy about, and you're going to be winning one of their top selling earrings. This is the Laura earring. How pretty are these? They're like very dangly and fun. I feel like these are such a pretty statement piece. I love like big chunky earrings like this. They have this really fun like swirly pearly pattern. Swirly pearly. <laughs> and this is what they look like. So, so super pretty. And three of you are going to win a pair of these. So for the giveaway, I'm going to do it the same way I always do. It's going to be a generator. You must be a subscriber to my channel. And also the other rule is that you should go on the Ana Luisa website. I will also link that in the generator you guys will see that will be one of the requirements so go sign up on their website as well and then make sure you guys are subscribed to me and you'll be entered to win a pair of the Laura earrings so moving on to the favorites like I said I have a ton of stuff so the first thing I want to mention are shadow shields so I actually got these from a trade show originally, that was the first place I got them. I think it was IMAX LA, I was working, and someone was actually handing out boxes of these. So I tried them and I just finished up the box that I got for free. I went ahead and ordered more right away on Amazon. If you're a makeup artist, or even if you're not, if you're just doing makeup on yourself, these are a lifesaver. And what they are is like they're these little moon shaped stickers. Actually, let me take them out if you guys have never seen them before, because I want to show you the shape. So this is the shape. It's like this little moon and they're actually really big. So what I do is I cut them in half to save on them and it gives me enough for two eyes. So what you do is you position it like this on your eye and I kind of curve it up towards my eyebrow to get like the perfect line and it helps so much with creating the perfect like outer wing shape to your eyeshadow. It also helps me so much with eyeliner and it collects all like the eyeshadow fallout and then you peel it off and you just have like the most perfect crisp line they're amazing I honestly cannot live without these now I didn't realize how much I love these till recently I did a whole wedding party and I used these on everyone and the eyeshadow came out so nice it's so so helpful I use them today on my eye look and I feel like I can't do my makeup now without them I love just taking the tape off and seeing that line and how perfect it looks 
The only other thing with these is that the adhesive on the back of these is very strong. So what I will do is I'll take it and I'll go like this and I'll kind of get the adhesive off a bit on my hand. It makes it a little less sticky, especially if you're working with clients. You don't want to be like tearing at their eye and have it be painful. So just make sure you take away a little bit of that like stickiness. It definitely, definitely helps and it will still stick to the eye. Or you can even like hold it there if you want to. favorite I want to talk to you guys about is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. This is in, I think it's citrus? Yeah, citrus elixir. So they came out with the citrus one and they came out with the watermelon one. I still have to track down the watermelon one because that's the one I originally wanted. I'm not actually like a huge fan of citrus flavors. But this lip scrub came out in the new spring no summer wet and wild line flights of fancy i did a whole video review on that collection i'll link it down below in case you guys missed out on it but i've already used a lot of this and this is such an amazing lip scrub it really gets off all the dead skin from my lips and i just kind of pick it up with my my finger slash fingernail and i kind of just work it into my lips the only thing is that it's really messy and it gets all over like my pants, my makeup desk when I use it because it's so loose. So yeah, it's not going to give you that like moisturizing effect afterwards like the chopstick lip scrub. That one kind of leaves like a bit of a bomb emollient on your lips. This one is just strictly going to take off the dead skin from your lips, which I have a lot of. So I always just make sure I follow up with a moisturizer and then go in with my lip liner and my lipstick. And this is like three, four dollars. Honestly, guys, if you see this at the drugstore, pick it up it's so good it's really good if you want to prep your lips before you put on lipstick and it smells really good too so i love that wet and wild came out with these and i think it's also a good dupe for those jeffree star velour lip scrubs yeah definitely a dupe for those i hope they come out with more the next one that is kind of an accessory to makeup that i'm loving this month is the kiss strip lash adhesive i really like this it has a biotin and a blueberry extract in it and it's latex free it has the brush applicator that i love so much I cannot go back to the squeezy tube after having the brush. It's so much easier to use. If you're like sensitive to latex or you just really don't want to use it, I know a lot of people are sensitive to it, then you want to get a formula like this. And also another thing I love is that it does not have that gross fishy smell that the Duo has. I don't know how people are still using that lash adhesive with that gross smell when they have so many better options now. The formula on this as well is really good and strong. Like it holds your lashes on to your eyes tightly but I totally was like drawn to the fact that it had the biotin in it because I know biotin helps your lashes grow and I have never seen that before in a lash glue so I thought that was really cool like why haven't more people done that and also I thought it was cool it had blueberry in it so I decided to give it a try the okay, next product I want to share with you guys is actually brand new I don't know actually if these hit stores yet I got these in PR this is new from CoverGirl it's their new lipsticks this is actually one of the metallics in 520 can't stop these are so good so this is what it looks like i want more of these they have a really nice formula i'm gonna swatch it i'm like freezing right now this one has a lot of like silver glitter in it look how pigmented it is and it's actually a really pretty color i'm usually not into metallics but this one i really enjoyed wearing and i think my favorite thing about these is that they smell Oh, they smell good. They have like a very slight hint of vanilla to them and I love that when drugstore lipsticks smell good because sometimes they have that really like icky lipstick scent and I just can't use them. So when I got a whiff of these, I was like, yes, they smell like vanilla. Another thing I really like is that you can see like the lipstick shade on the bottom of the little lipstick bullet because it's just super helpful if you're trying to get an idea of what the color is and it actually is pretty true to what you get it might be like a little bit darker they have three finishes they have demi mattes metallics and then they're gonna have cream finishes as well they're super moisturizing and they kind of just wear like a traditional lipstick so if you like eat and drink of course it's gonna wear off the glitter inside this because it's a metallic isn't gritty or anything another lip product i have been loving so much i actually meant to mention this in last month's video and I like forgot about it. The All May Goddess Gloss. This is in the shade Angelic. These are so pretty. I love this color. I've been wearing this so much over like any baby pink lipstick. You could also wear it on your own if you want. It has this really pretty like pink, blue, purple sparkle to it. I just think it's so beautiful. I love baby pink 
lip shades but I like this because it has that kind of like duochrome sparkle to it and I love that Almay is coming out with like so many new different products I think they're trying to step up their game so when I saw this I was super interested I had a coupon at Ulta they were also on sale and they had a bunch of other colors too but of course like the nude pink one caught my eye and I love this so much I actually like I'll put some on so you guys can see like what it looks like so I just applied it. I feel like though this lipstick I'm wearing doesn't do it justice because this is more of like a tan, peachy nude. This color, because it's a pink, it looks way prettier on top of like a nude pink gloss lip like MAC Angel or MAC Cream Cup. There's glitter in it, like a lot of glitter, but it doesn't come across as too over the top and it's not gritty feeling. The second I put it on, I was like, oh yes, I know I'm going to be wearing this a lot. When that happens with a product, I know it's going in the favorites video. So I wanted to mention this to you guys in case you wanted to check it out. Next up, I wanted to mention a blush I've really been enjoying and this is also from the Wet n Wild lights of fancy summer collection i'm wearing it today this is the wet and wild color icon baked blush this is in hummingbird hype so this is the shade right here it has like a peachy shimmery kind of thing going on peach with like a little bit of gold to it and this is like intense sparkle like you have to kind of also be a little bit careful with it because if you have pores like it definitely can accentuate your pores so what I actually did today was I put on a matte peach blush on my cheeks and then I took a duo fiber stippling brush and I just kind of tapped it over my cheeks just to give it a little bit of a glow instead of just full on putting this all over my cheeks. Color is so pretty though. I feel like this would also be a pretty lid shade if you are interested in that. But the formula on this is so nice. I love that they have the little hummingbird printed into the blush. I feel like that is such a nice touch. Seems really high end. I love Wet n Wild blushes. Like I really hope they come out with more shades. I'm always impressed by their face products, their highlighters, like they do such a good job. Just gives a really pretty like golden summery sheen. If you like that bronzy look to your cheeks, you're really going to enjoy this. Really good for like the hot weather and summer coming up. Next favorite is a mascara. I'm wearing it today and I didn't want to wear false lashes or anything so you could really get the effect of the mascara. And I also got this in PR. This is the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara. I've been using this non-stop. I love it. The wand is really nice and this is in Fiercest Black. So the wand is really cool. It kind of like curves a little bit and it dips so I use like all sides of this brush as I flip it around I use the thinner side it kind of like spikes up higher in the middle and then it gets shorter on the edges it's a really interesting funky kind of brush and with this I find that you do kind of have to work with it and layer it but once you start building it up you'll really get that nice volume and I feel like it fans out my lashes so nicely and I feel like it makes my lashes look like I'm wearing falsies and I love it. It's not flaky because I do have that issue with a lot of mascaras. I love them but they end up on the bottom of my cheeks by the end of the day. I really love the formula on it. It is also a rubber bristle wand. Usually I'm into a more natural brush but this one I've really been liking. I think Flower Beauty did such a good job with this mascara and I would definitely like purchase this with my own money. I really think it's great and I knew it was good like from the first time I used it so again that is like when I know a product is good like the first time if I love it I know I have to mention it. I cannot do a favorites video without mentioning eyeshadow palette that I've been loving. So the first one I want to mention is the Bad Habit Arabesque Palette. I did a whole video reviewing this, so if you guys want to check that out, I'm also going to link that down below. I have been loving this palette for myself, using it on others. I actually use this on my bride, who's also my cousin, on her Memorial Day wedding, and the eyes came out so beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I wanted to be wearing it so you guys can kind of get a little preview of what it looks like but I've been creating so many different looks with this palette and this is the dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. This is actually still available on the app. It's $16 so make sure you guys check it out and can you tell I already hit major pan on the cream shade in here. This is called Avant. That's always the first thing to go in my eyeshadow palette. I use up the cream shade in like two seconds. I've been using this like every day to set my eyeshadow primer. Um, today I'm wearing satin in the crease. I'm wearing interlude. I'm also wearing a tutu all over my lid. I've used basically everything in this palette. The black is really crazy pigmented. 
I love all the colors in here and I'm so happy that I have a dupe for soft glam because that is a palette that I wanted so badly but it just didn't really fit in with my budget even though I know I would use it a ton hopefully in the future I'll be able to pick it up these are really high quality shadows they have like a soft formula to them but they kick up a lot of powder so just be careful like wear your shadow shields wear some sort of powder because you want to be able to like protect your foundation if you are wearing any if you want to see like my full thoughts swatches everything like definitely check out the video review i did on it i just wanted to like let you guys know how much i've been enjoying it and how much use i've gotten out of it next up i have another eyeshadow palette i've been loving it is the urban decay beach palette i love this thing it is so good another thing i did a full video on i'll link it down below in case you guys missed out on it this is such a good palette and i think it's only like $32 like it's actually pretty affordable for Urban Decay and I love how it opens up like this I love these colors for summer these blues are so fun to play with I love every look that I've created using this palette um, Daybreak is so pretty Salt is absolutely gorgeous all over the lid Blaze so pretty it's like a duo chrome pink wedge like I love all the colors in here I think this is such a good palette from Urban Decay like one of my favorites since the Naked palettes came out honestly and I love the packaging I just totally get like summer vibes the quality of these shades are so good I just really have fun playing with this and I definitely recommend it I know a lot of you guys were interested in it when I did the video on it I'm really into all these shades as well and it's just fun to be able to play around with like colors that I don't usually get to do um, looks with like these types of blues so I've been trying to do more colorful looks switch it up a bit but you can also stay more neutral with this like in this area over here if you really wanted to so it's definitely a fun palette and I think it is so cute too so I am so thankful that Urban Decay sent this my way to play with I am so like happy and just impressed with Urban Decay because they are reaching out to smaller influencers or like micro influencers like myself. I know a lot of my girlfriends who are bloggers have been getting PR from Urban Decay as well and I just think that is so commendable that they are doing that and adding micro influencers into like their PR, their marketing strategy. I think that is so awesome because I feel like we have an audience that you know is different from say like someone who has a million followers but we still have a lot of people that we reach and that we could share their products with so I just wanted to mention that I thought that was really cool so beach palette I'm here for it. Next up is the foundation. I have been so enjoying this. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is the new one they just launched in 40 different shades. I've been wearing this like every single day. This is the shade day. I said that's so weird every single day and this is the shade l50 this is gonna be a really good like summer self tan foundation shade for me this is so good it keeps me matte pretty much all day and i did a whole wear test with this you could check that out i compared this to Too Faced peach perfect foundation i compared the two and did a wear test and it was really interesting to see like how similar they were to one another so this is a comfort matte formula i love the finish i love like how full coverage it is but it doesn't look cakey so i really think this is going to be like my favorite drugstore foundation for summertime definitely recommend it if you guys see it at the drugstore i love also that there's a pump you can see like maybe you can see how much this i already use like i already made quite a bit of a dent in it because i've been using it so much it goes really well it doesn't like accentuate pores or anything like that and if you have oily skin even if you have dry skin i think this is a formula that you'll be able to wear um i just really like it and i think it's so good it's not too overly matte it's like definitely a new favorite um, in my foundation collection. So next up I have this palette from Tarte that I've been using like every single day. Um, I have rediscovered this in my collection. This is the Tardis Pro Glow palette. So it has this little like door that you open up and I have been using mainly this shade right here, the highlighter shade, and then this shade down here, Sculpt. So this is Strobe, this is Sculpt. Sometimes I'll use Stunner. Um, and the cream I've been using, not as much, but this row right here, I've really been loving. This smells amazing. It smells like that typical tart vanilla smell. I love it. Every time I open it and use it, I just get happy because it smells so good. So I've been using Sculpt to contour my nose and ever since I started using this to contour my nose, I have not been able to stop contouring my nose. It's now like an addiction and I like the way it looks. 
And then what I'll do is I'll take strobe, which actually has a little bit of like glitter in it, which might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I'll take a little bit of strobe and I'll just put it right down this bridge of my nose, not all the way, just right here. And then I'll also put a little bit here, like on the tip of my nose and then a little bit here on my upper lip. And I love the way it looks, a little opening. It's actually a little bit annoying sometimes because I feel like I'm gonna dip my finger in when I open it up. But it has two mirrors on the side, so I've really been enjoying this. I actually got this in an Ulta Platinum package, believe it or not. They sent this to me for being platinum, and I was like, what? Then I want to mention my favorite highlighter palette right now. Another rediscovery that I found in my draw, and I'm so happy I rediscovered this. I'm wearing it today, and this is the Beach Cosmetics Black Light Highlight 6 Color Palette. This is so amazing, you guys. So I know a lot of people aren't really into these like crazy shades anymore. Like I definitely am not wearing this blue over here, but like these right here, like these pinks, the white and the yellow are what I'm into. I'm wearing the yellow today and it's not like crazy. It doesn't look like Big Bird yellow or anything like that. I actually think I like this more than my Anastasia Glow Kits. I'm not gonna lie, like I feel like the formula is even creamier. This is such a good price point. BH always has sales on their products. And these are like so buttery and so good and I just like love the way that it gives a beautiful shine to my cheeks that's like blinding. So when I'm feeling a little bit more funky then I whip out this highlight palette. You could wear the white and the yellow on like a regular day and get away with it. Um, but the colors are so pretty. Like look how pretty those are. I just swatched them on my hands so you guys could see. They are so blinding. You can tell right away and then I just swatched the pink on the bottom like look how pretty that is I wore this one day I think it was actually in the video when I did shopping at Kohl's and I like couldn't stop looking at my highlight like if you say one of the Anastasia glow kits like the dream one you were thinking about it which is like a lot of colors to it I would maybe stick with this one if you're looking for a more affordable option okay one more thing I want to mention it's a skincare item that I've really been loving it's the Derma E very clear acne spot treatment it has two percent salicylic acid in it i was originally using a benzoyl peroxide product from target which was like my go-to spot treatment then i got this from derma e because i was their photo ambassador of the month for instagram which was really cool and i love this because it has basically all natural ingredients in it and i thought that was really interesting i've been trying to use more natural skincare products so when i saw this was a spot treatment i was like "Ooh, this is really nice so I had a pimple the other day. It was kind of coming to the surface. It was a little bit red. I felt it. Like it wasn't white or anything. I put this on the night before and the next day it was gone. And anytime I have like a white head, I've been putting this on top of it and it just dries it out and gets rid of it. So this I think is so, so good. And I love that it's more natural and it works. So I wanted to mention it to you guys in case you were looking for a good like spot treatment that actually works. I always get like little pimples that pop up out of nowhere so I definitely need something like this in my life. If you have any products I don't like I'll just put them in a video for you guys and like do a disappointing products video. I know everyone likes the hose. So don't forget also to enter the giveaway with Ana Luisa. I'm going to have that linked like in the first part of my description box. So one of you guys is going to be winning a pair of those really cute earrings. So thank you so much Ana Luisa for working with me on this video. Thank you so much to you guys for watching and supporting me. I truly appreciate it and I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you.